Adobe Photoshop Mix is a mobile application for iOS devices that offer several of the same tools as Adobe Photoshop without having expert knowledge of the program. It provides a wonderful, non-destructive workflow that lets you share files between Mix and the desktop version of Adobe Photoshop. When you first open Mix, you'll have to log in with your Adobe ID. You'll see a series of project panels. Some are here by default as examples set up by Adobe, others will be your own personal projects. As you swipe through the projects, notice the background updates based upon the image that's in focus. It's a nice touch. Each project has a duplicate button, which does just that, and a trash can if you want to remove the project. In the top left, if you tap the mix icon, you'll see a menu of options that contains information about your account, the Photoshop Mix application, quick access to tutorials, and others. You can also quickly access Behance, Twitter, and Facebook. To work on a new project, tap the plus sign. You'll have the ability to select an image from your device's camera roll, or you can take a picture with your device. You can also access files stored on Creative Cloud, or images that you've posted to Facebook and files on Dropbox. For this example, we're going to select an image that I have stored in my Lightroom mobile catalog. Notice they all appear as thumbnails, making it very easy for you to find the image that you're looking for. In this case, I'm going to go ahead and tap on this image of a flower. Once it opens, notice you have gestures available to zoom into the image and rotate the image. You can double tap it to return it back to its original state. We have some standard editing capability, like cropping. Notice you have several different presets on the bottom, as well as handles to create a custom crop. To accept it, tap the check mark or press the X to decline the changes. The Looks section has a series of predefined looks that you can easily apply to your image. Tap a few to try them out. Now, like the crop, if you wish to accept the changes, tap the check mark, otherwise, tap the X. What's really great about looks is you have the ability to selectively apply them to the image. With this black and white look applied, notice the smart icon appear. If you tap it, you can toggle between a smart selection and a basic selection. For this example, I'm going to leave it set to smart. Now, as you drag your finger over the image, the look is removed from the overall image and applied only where you drag your finger. It's pretty cool. Notice now only the flower is in color. Tap the check mark to accept your changes. Let's go back to the gallery. I'm going to open up an image of Hawaii that I have stored on my Creative Cloud files. With it open, I'm going to composite the flower image into this picture. I'll tap on the box up here towards the top to add the image. I'll choose the flower that I was just working with by going back to my Lightroom catalog, finding it, and tapping it to select it. Once the image opens, tap Cutout. Then you can drag your finger over the portion of the image that you want to use. Notice the precision of the selection. Once you're done, the background is removed. Tap the check mark to accept the changes. You can now reposition the flower by dragging it. If you're working on an iPad, Adobe Photoshop Mix also offers robust editing tools that were previously only available on the desktop. I'm going to open an image that I have stored on my Creative Cloud files. In this case, I'll select this picture. It's a picture of a beach. I love this picture, but I really wish these people weren't in the shot. Tap More Edits and a series of robust Photoshop features appear. These options are so processor intensive, they're actually executed on Adobe's cloud servers, so you have desktop performance in a mobile app. Tap Content Aware Fill, then drag a red mark around the guy, and tap the Fill button with the Creative Cloud logo. Like I said, the processing takes place remotely, and the image is refreshed to show you the edit. Let's do the same for this lady. Once you tap Fill, she's removed. This is desktop-level editing on a mobile device. 
check out the before and the after by tapping this arrow button. Speaking of the desktop, you probably have thousands of PSD files that you've worked on in the past. These layered files are available to Adobe Photoshop Mix. In this example, I'm going to add an element from a layered Photoshop document by tapping the square with the plus sign towards the top. Back in my Creative Cloud files, I'm going to select this PSD. You can either open the image or extract specific layers. I'm going to go ahead and choose Extract. Now all you have to do is drag your finger over the element you want to use. Notice it appears below. Tap it to add it to your image. Now that the dog is added to the image, you may want to scale it down, and you can do that by using a pinch gesture. Once you scale it to the appropriate size, drag it to wherever you want it to appear within the image. Finally, you may want to take your editing further, and Photoshop Mix allows you to do just that by sending your project to Photoshop. In the top area, tap on this icon. It's the box with the arrow pointing up. This will open a menu and you can choose Save to Photoshop. Back on the desktop, if you open Photoshop, you'll see the file is now available and it's fully editable. All this editing capability on the go is great. Not only is Adobe Photoshop Mix available on iPad, but you can also run Mix on your iPhone for even more flexibility on the go.